Right, you guys, got another Windows update error code repair for you. This is a 0x800 70490, and this is a popular error code that's going to pop up when you open applications up like this, and you may get an error code. This is due to Windows uh, update, and I'm going to show you some fixes that you can do to try to fix this. Now, make sure you back up all your data before continuing with any sort of uh, repair on your computer, just in case you uh, risk losing that data and make sure you follow every step until your problem is fixed okay so first off let's go down to the search box and type in cmd and right click on command prompt here and run this as administrator say yes to the user account control and this will open up a black command prompt box as administrator as you can see here type in there sfc space forward slash scan now and let that run this will take a bit of time, so be patient. And hopefully when this has been completed, you can try uh, uh, to restart your computer and see whether this resolves your problem. If it does, then you don't need to continue with this video. But if it doesn't, then you want to follow on and follow the next uh, step. OK, so we're going to close this off and move on to the second uh, method that you can try. It's come down to the search box here and type inside the search box services. And we want to make sure that the Windows update service is running and sometimes restarting that service will uh, fix and resolve the problem. So look in your services here and look for Windows update. When you see Windows update there, you may see it's running. That's OK. You can see it's set to automatic. That's fine. And then click on stop and restart that service by clicking start and then click apply and OK and then hopefully that resolves your problem if it doesn't you can continue on to the next step so we're going to go inside the search box again and type cmd right click on the command prompt and run that as administrator and as you can see we've got a black command prompt box open again and what we want to do here is stop a bunch of services and these are net stop just as I'm typing out here, space W-U-A-U-S-E-R-V, and this will stop that service from running. Now we need to stop these services temporarily so we can do our repair and then we can restart them afterwards, okay? Now you can see here the next one is netstop C-R-Y-P-T-S-V-C. Just type it out as I've done there and push enter. Now we need to do another one, net stop bits. And you can create a batch file that will do this for you. I'll show you that bit after I've done this, just in case you want to do that, you can do, and it will do it all in one fell swoop. So you can see here, net stop MSI server is another one that you may need to stop here. Now, once you've got these all stopped, we can rename uh, the cat root folder cat root 2 and also we need to rename the software distribution folder and this will create new uh, folders once it's done that so you want to type this command out here which is ren space c colon backslash windows system 32 backslash and then we need to go in here cat root 2 and then we want to put a space in here and we want to type in here cat root just as I'm doing here and then two dot old and then push enter and that will rename the cat root two folder to cat root two dot old and this is where the windows updates generate so we this is going to repair and put a new folder inside there and hopefully this resol resolves your issue you can see here cat root is already been populated and we've renamed the old version catroot 2old You need to rename the software distribution folder as well, and you can just do that by typing ren space c colon backslash. And then we want to type out here Windows. Then we want to put a backslash in here and do software distribution, all one word just as I'm typing out here, okay? And what we're gonna do here is rename this folder. So do a space, 
and then software distribution old and we just want to copy what we did with the cat root up the top there and what this will do is when you go to update it will automatically populate another system distribution uh, folder and sometimes this gets corrupted and it stops uh, the updates uh, from working correctly and this will sometimes resolve your problem so just do what I'm doing here and you should be okay now if you get an access denied it means the services have sometimes restarted themselves so you just need to follow it and stop those services again and do it very quickly okay so I'm taking my time here so you can see it but you want to do it quickly and uh, it should stop now if you want to create a batch file you can do to stop these in one fell swoop like I've done here or you can do the stop and then rename and then restart those services like I've done here and I will leave these in the video description for you just create a batch file out of these and then you can just right click and restart uh, these services it will stop them rename those folders and start them so you can see here software distribution old has been created now as soon as I click on the Windows update that will automatically start downloading a brand new uh, directory called so uh, software distribution okay now hopefully that resolves your problem if not we need to continue on with the next fix and you can see here I do have the batch files here which I'm going to run here and this will automatically do it in one go so I'm going to right click here and run this as administrator say yes to the user account control and you can see it's automatically stopping and starting those services and renaming those directories I'll leave all those in the video description for you so you can uh, use those now another thing you can do is re-register all the DLL files for the Windows update so what I'm going to do here is right click on this batch file and run this as administrator and it will automatically re-register all those DLL files and sometimes this can fix uh, those problems for you I will also leave that in the video description for you so you can use it now if that hasn't fixed your problem still then go down to the uh, search box here and type RSTRUI and click yes to use account control and this will open up the system restore uh, program now you need to have this enabled by default it's not enabled but if you do have it you will see a, a restore point there for you or more than one restore point just choose the one that's furthest back to before you was having this issue and roll back to that system restore point you can scan for effective programs uh, here as well and once you've done that click on the uh, drive that you want to uh, restore and click finish and it will open up another box saying system restore cannot be interrupted do you want to continue just say yes here to continue and it will try to roll back to a time when your computer was working correctly now if that doesn't work you can also come down to the search box and type cmd and run this command prompt as administrator again and open up the command prompt box here now what we want to do here is type dism DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health now once you type that it will try to restore uh, the image of the computer and try to fix it and uh, sometimes this does resolve your problem okay so this is another simple fix that you can try and hopefully this will resolve your problem let me know in the comments section below what one works for you if it didn't work then let me know it didn't work and uh, I can try to help you further on the forums so just let this run this will take a fair bit of time okay so I'm speeding this process up so you don't have to uh, sit there and waste time but basically that's what you need to do there if that hasn't worked for you type troubleshoot in the search box here and open up the troubleshoot uh, program in, built into Windows 10 and go to the uh, Windows update section and run the troubleshooter uh, program here and hopefully this will try to fix and resolve a lot of problems uh, with Windows update apply the fix here if it finds any problems and it will you can see it's already doing starting bit service and so on and it will go ahead and try to resolve this now this is a pretty uh, risky one but you can go on to tweakingcomputer.com and get the 
Windows repair tool here and run the Windows repair tool just like I'm doing here. I would advise you to back all your data up before you do anything like this uh, because this one is a little bit more aggressive. Uh, but as you can see here, once the program is open, you can go into the repairs main and open repairs here. And uh, this will give you a bunch of options that you can tick. You can see the warning sign coming up here. So you want to make sure that you either reboot into safe mode and or you can continue just like I'm doing here. And uh, again, I can't stress enough, some of these things will start doing uh, a lot of changes to your computer. So you need to be aware of that. So you can see here, there's a bunch of ticks in a bunch of boxes here that you don't need. So you can just remove all the ones that you don't need uh, to reset. And you can see that we do have a load of stuff inside here that we don't want to run. So you can see repair windows update is inside there and that is a good one to run. And I would also uh, do like repair windows firewall, uh, reset your host file and stuff like that and start that running. OK, and the reason for that is because there may be a problem and uh, this will reset a lot of those issues. It will also reset all your services. If you've been tinkering, if you like to tinker with your computer, maybe you've made a change that it doesn't like and this can also reset all those. Once you've run all those uh, resets, you can restart your computer and get yourself back to the desktop and hopefully that has resolved your problem. Now, if it hasn't, you can always reset your computer and I'll show you how to do that um, in this next part here. So you want to go to your uh, Windows flag button there click on settings and go into update and security here inside here you'll see recovery click on recovery and advanced startup click restart now this will restart the computer it will get you into choose an option section go into the troubleshoot area here and then you can see uh, reset this pc click on this one and you can say keep my files or remove everything we're going to do keep my files and then let that uh, do its thing. And you can see now it's going to start to reset this PC. Now it will give you a list of stuff what it's going to remove. And you can see here, remove all the apps and programs that didn't come with this PC. Change settings back to default and reinstall Windows without uh, removing any of your personal data. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope this one helps you out, guys. Hopefully this has resolved your problem. Let me know in the comments section below uh, whether it's helped you out and worked. And also give the video a like. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.